I'm Lydia. I'm Lily. And today we're here to show you a guide for how to plan out your 2 minute and 30 second match so you can be quick and efficient. We have individual videos about the individual missions, but this is just a guide on how to plan it. As you can see, there's a red side and there's a blue side. These two sides generally have missions that correlate to these two sides. There is the boat, which is close to the red side, which is the same with the surface brush, which is also close to the red side, so you may want to start from there because it is easier. The same with the blue side, there is the silo, and there is also what's on sale, and those are both close to the blue side. At a competition, there can be up to two student operators on each side. That is, two for the blue side, two for the red side. These different color operators cannot interact during a match, which means no handing equipment or robots across the field. You can choose before the match whether or not you want to do missions on just the red side, just the blue side, or on both. It is useful if you are doing the missions on both sides to have a program that in a straight line moves the robot from the red side to the blue side or vice versa. It is generally a good idea to do the missions that are close to home first. They are quick to get to and they are easy points when you are just starting out. Be careful, however, though, when you do something like the silo and you release the preserved food, it can go all over the map and you have no idea where it could land. You may want to do this one last because now when I'm trying to get to the mine cart, then my robot could run over that preserved food and it would ruin the mission. It is important to have a solid base of simple missions that you know work every time because this boosts morale not only on the practice field but also in a competition environment. If you see a student that is working too long or too hard on something and getting frustrated, then it is important that you remind them that they need to take a break and perhaps work on something else. As two former FLL members, from experience, we can tell you that it is hard to know when to stop doing a task, but it can always be refreshing to do something else and maybe for like an hour, for a day, for a week. Bye and have a great season.